Good morning and welcome to BOTB HQ in Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, the presenter here at BOTB. And we're here this morning to judge the latest dream car competition, which ran from the 1st to the 7th of March 2021. And just before I hand over to the lawyer this morning, once again, massive congratulations to last week's winner of the dream car competition, uh, Khalid Abdul Kader, winning that unbelievable Lamborghini Urus Plus £70,000. I'd now like to pass over to Alex Bromley-Martin from Onside Law, who will oversee the proceedings this morning. My name's Alex Bromley-Martin from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing this judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditing company Assets. I would now like today's judges to introduce themselves, and using the secure link provided, mark on the screen where they think the centre of the ball should be. The group will then come to a final panel decision. Good morning, my name's Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and footballer. My name's Liam Walsh. I'm a retired referee, currently an FA observer and head coach for the Middlesex Referees Academy. Hi, my name's Matthew Ray. I'm affiliated in multiple counties across England, currently in Gloucestershire, and have refereed from grassroots through the professional academies. Hi, my name's Renee Hector and I'm a football player for Watford FC Women and I'm a coach for Tottenham Hotspur Foundation. Good morning, my name is Alain Goma. I'm an ex-professional footballer having played for Paris Saint-Germain, Newcastle and Fulham. Good morning, my name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex-professional football player, having been with Chelsea, Fulham and Leighton Orient. Hi, my name is Aramin Donka. I've been involved in football for over 30 years, firstly as a player and then as a, as a referee. My name is Chloe Morgan and I'm a goalkeeper for Crystal Palace Women. Good morning. My name is Andy Braithwaite and I'm a football referee, mentor and licensed observer. Good morning. My name's Peter Giorgio and I am a futsal and football referee. Judges, please now come to a final panel decision. For your reference, the larger white cross is calculated the average of the 10 individual selections. Thank you very much, Alex. Good morning, everybody. Morning. 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 We've got three players in shot and, a, and what looks like a sub in the background just on looking. Um, to my, I looked at this picture and I thought that the player in, in maroon at the front was going to play the ball possibly with his arms up, going to chest it. But I actually, it's either chest or he's just going to have a quick sort of quiet header. Uh, and the two players behind him aren't, don't, don't seem to be challenging for the ball. Player in the middle, I think it's looking over the player's right shoulder at the ball that's coming in. But if we have a look at um, some lines, we've got this player here. And it's a fairly narrow band. I think this player on the far right is just looking at the two players. He may well be looking across as well to the ball, but you can't see his eye. Um, and this other player, we've got one eye. So I'm slightly the lowest and I'm on, on this line uh, with you, Andy. H how have you seen, seen the photo? Um, I believe that the guy is going to chest it myself. Um, he looks pretty relaxed. Also as well, um, I've, the, the guy just behind him, whose eye line we can see, I just feel he's looking a little bit flatter than uh, some of my colleagues. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, basically, it's no, nobody seems to be in any tense situation. So I think the ball's coming in quite quite casually for him to chest. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and Liam, you're ever so slightly um, closest to this player. And you're sort of, uh, again, one of, the, I would say, the four lowest uh, selections with uh, Andy, myself and, and Ari. How have you seen uh, the um, picture? I, I, I believe he's going to head the ball. 
yeah. uh, due to his arm, the position of his arms, and the fact that his neck, his neck's coming, he's coming forward. And I think he's, I think it's uh, you know, mil, I'm going to say a millisecond from making contact with his forehead. Um, and and I've gone with, uh, I've used the guy in the black kit as as a line because uh, we've got two eyes, both his eyes clearly can see and can get a, and using his headline to get a, a good line of where I feel the ball is. And then I've gone for the judgment. Cause if you look at the guy, the, the guy in red, his eye, I mean, it's quite, um, I want to try and stay politically correct here. He's a, he's a, he's a ginger guy and he's, he's probably got hazel eyes. And that's why I don't feel that, you know, there's, uh, we can see the whites. Um, I hope that's okay. Um, and I just feel that the ball is imminent. Yep. And and that's um, yeah, that's that's realistically what I've got. Yeah, thank you very much. And and Ari, I'll come to your 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 next. Uh, I'll highlight yours. Yours are uh, the closest to this calculated average as we're looking at it now, and I'm highlighting it. Uh, do you see it any differently? Do you think he's going to head the ball, chest the ball? Yeah, I felt uh, I felt that he's he's going he's going to head the ball as well. He's he's, he's he has his arms open. Uh, his body shape is slightly tilted back. His neck is move, moving forward, as as Liam said. I think he's 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 going to meet the, the ball halfway. Is he, and uh, the eye line? I think is consistent where where I placed my cross as well. I felt that the ball the ball um, his eye line is parallel to 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 his right arm. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Matthew. I'll come to you next. You're at, uh, at the top of uh, this sort of main cluster. Uh, have you seen um, and your thoughts on this photo? Yeah, I think the player in Claret's going to head the ball too. Um, I think my view of it is slightly higher than others because I think the player in black is just looking that bit higher. Um, tilt of his head, I think he's looking on, um, but I think he's looking steeper. Um, and I think Ari's actual comment about the angle of the, the arm of the player in Claret as well, I went off that as well, but, but from the, the player in Claret's eye. So... That's why I've placed it slightly higher. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, and Leo, you're just on the sort of same trajectory as uh, as Matthews and also Peters. How, how did you see this? I pretty much agree with everything uh, Matthew just said there. I, I think the players in purple is going to hit the ball. I think if he was going to chest the ball, not on all occasions, but I think his arms possibly would be even wider. Um, so, yeah, I think he's relaxed. He's just going to comfortably head the ball. He's in front of the other players. Uh, and obviously with his eye line and the player in black behind him, it's just very slightly higher than his own eye line. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. And Peter, you're just in between uh, 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 Matthew and uh, Leo's. Did you yeah, see it any differently? No, I mean, no real different. Uh, I do agree. He he's, looks like he's, in, he's positioned himself to head the ball and uh, rather than then chest it and then just using the player in in the, in the black uh, kit uh, using that uh, as as a guideline for the interception with the purple's eyes so yeah, yeah thank thank you uh, and Ally, you're you're sort of in centrally placed in between <laughs> everybody uh, again do you see him as heading the ball yeah uh yeah matt um no i think he's in uh, he's in movement uh, and he's attacking the ball and i think he's going to head the ball uh i went uh, you know, compared to the direction of his head, I went slightly higher uh, because I think he's, he's frowning. And I think also it works with the play in, in black, uh, you know, behind him. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. uh, and I'll, I'll come to you, Chloe. You're uh, ever so slightly um, on the left of this main cluster. Uh, have you seen this? Um, I actually saw it as more of a, a chest of the ball. I think his arms outstretched uh, and his body position are quite tense as if the ball sort of, there's, a, there's an imminent impact there. Um, I think just in terms of the, the eye lines are quite flat. So I took the trajectory of the ball as, as dropping down slightly to his chest level rather than to his head. Um, yeah, yeah that, that's kind of how I, I perceived it. Okay, thank you very much. And lastly, Rene, you're, you're furthest over to the left, uh, just... Um, how did you view the, the photo and what do you think was happening? Um, yeah, I feel like um, the player in Claret is going to head the ball. Um, I think he looks quite relaxed as well as the player in black also looks pretty relaxed. So I didn't feel that the, the ball was as close as everybody else is because if you think about how quickly the ball moves, um, 
I think he's just starting to gear up. He's gearing up. His, his, you know, his arms are coming up. His, his neck's going back. And he's gearing up to really come through the ball. Um, I just didn't feel like the, the ball was that close. I still feel like it had a little bit of travelling to do. But obviously on the on a similar eye line to everybody else, I do feel like the player in black is, is looking um, relatively steeply. Um, so that's why I put my cross there. Yeah, OK. Thank you very much. OK. Um, I mean, obviously, Brenny, your, your choice is furthest out to the left. So I'm going to remove yours um, because of that um, and bring in this calculated average into the cluster. I mean, we have... There's the sort of three of us. I mean, I, I was sort of wavering on chesting and, and head the ball. I wasn't quite sure, but I am the lowest. Um, and we have a um, couple other people who do think that the ball is being chested as uh, uh, Chloe uh, and Andy. Um, so that's the sort of three lower ones apart from Aries here, which is again quite close to this calculated average. Um, I, I think the, the, the cluster's not very, very tight. Um, and I think it's it's spread enough. You you know you could remove myself, for example, and it comes up into the cluster, and then it, it doesn't encompass everybody. Um, and so, I would suggest that we move forward with this calculated average with Rennie's removed. But I'd, I'd obviously welcome any other uh, thoughts that you you'd have. I mean, I'll, I'll go to you individually um, in a second, uh, but I think we are still looking at. You know, I could go, Matthew could go, and we all seem to be sort of paired around uh, the main three in the middle that are closest, which is Peter, Ari, and Ala. So, so Liam, uh, have you got anything further to add? Or, or, or... No, could you just put the that's it, lovely? Um, if you could just leave it on there for a second for me, Matt, yep. that's perfect, lovely. Oop. Yeah, I think you're summing up spot on. Uh, sorry to have to agree with you 100% this morning, but uh, I do. <laughs> okay. Frame that. Frame. Let's frame that one, Matt. Yeah. Um, I just. Yeah. I think that's good. I think that's a good lead. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, uh, Matthew. Yeah, I think that's a good spread. It's nice and even, um, and the the views line up with the, the context how the players are looking. So I'm happy with that. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, Rena, I know you've been removed, and, and I take your point about speed of ball and things. But uh, are you happy with this as a a panel decision? Yeah, I think I think with it there, it just about taps everybody's um, everybody's cross. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, great, thank you, Ala. Yeah, and no, I'm happy with that. You know, you got like a, a line uh, above of uh, four crosses. Uh, you got mine, and uh, I think is uh, an Ari, uh, Ari yeah. uh, in the middle, and you got the three uh, below. I think it works quite well. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, uh, and uh, Leo. Yeah, no, it encompasses everybody, Matt. So, and, and the average, I think, is very good. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Ari, uh, you're very close to this calculated average as well. Are you happy? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that as well. Okay, great. Uh, Chloe? Yeah, I'm happy with that, yeah. Thank you. Andy? Yeah, I'm happy with that, Matt. And I think everybody's version, including Renee's, to me, is credible. But yeah, I'm happy with that. No, no, sure. Nine. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and lastly, Peter. Yes, I'm happy with that selection. Okay. Thank you. Uh, after a good debate, Alex, uh, we decided to remove Rene's uh, um, selection uh, just because it's a little bit further away from the, the main cluster and to go with the judging at average with the, the remaining nine choices. Thank you. If you're all happy, then please click submit. Thank you, judges. The coordinates selected are 1815-1073. These coordinates will now be passed to the auditing company assets to calculate the winner of the competition, and they will then inform BOTB. This concludes the judging process. Thank you. Thank you.